In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make wheel routes the best route in the game. How you can actually make them to the point where it's almost impossible. I don't want to say impossible, but it's very, very much so close to being impossible uh, for these routes to get picked off. We're going to teach that in today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you real quickly to subscribe. It's free to subscribe. If you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later date. But by subscribing, it's going to let you know whenever we release new videos. And we release new videos uh, pretty much three to four times a day. So you want to be aware of that so that way you don't miss any of these videos uh, of tips and strategies, route combos, defense of schemes, all that stuff. Um, and then also I want to let you know real quick before we dive too far in, we're in the New England Patriots playbook. Today we're going to be talking about trips tied in. Uh, arguably, I think, most balanced offense in the game. It's got a great running scheme. It's got great spacing. Um, and it's also got incredible, incredible route combinations. Now, if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In Offensive Guide, join my Patreon. Uh, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Uh, you can sign up for that. It's only $10 a month, and it's going to get you access to not just my Trips Tied In Offensive ebook, but every Madden 22 Offensive and Defensive Guide that I have released or will release while your subscription is active. And again, it's only $10 a month to unlock the whole thing. It gets you all of that. It also gets you a ton of exclusive tips, updates to ebooks. Uh, most people don't update their ebooks or kind of talk about new concepts as they arise. And what I've tried to do with my Patreon membership is allow you the space to be able to kind of quickly update material for you guys so that that way you're always in the know about what's going on. So again, if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. Uh, and then also, uh, I wanted to uh, real quickly here, we're just going to dive in, trip side in, and we can use PA Shot Wheel uh, for today's video, uh, but you could do this out of any play, which is really cool. Um, just for sake of simplicity here, if I want to show some of this, I do want to grab the mesh spot just because it is a very good wheel wrap to the tight end here. But anyways, we're going to start with PA Shot Wheel and kind of work from there. Now, if you know anything about wheel routes in Madden 22, one of the things that you probably are aware of is that if you shade down on a vertical hook defender, oftentimes it will help in terms of its ability to guard a wheel route. So if we motion out a flat route, like Scotty Miller on a flat, motion him to the right, and then we also have the running back on a wheel, what you should see here is this vert hook should play this for the most part. Now, did you notice what you saw there, though, in the seam? It plays it on the initial cut, and if it's a sharper wheel, like, for example, um, the wheel route out of mesh spot, which I'll show that, and what I mean by a sharper wheel is you can find that in mesh spot, you can find that in verticals uh, from bunch as well, but you see how this is a sharper, uh, a sharper wheel route. So what I'm going to do defensively here is I'm just going to audible to cover two. I'm going to shade down so my vert hooks are going to play underneath. And what you should see is this seam, it's going to run it right into the wheel, as you see right there. So how do we make these routes almost impossible to guard uh, from the defense, where they have to basically use it? Well, the way that we're going to do that is actually not necessarily even found in the route combination, it's more found in the um, pass passing uh, lane and the passing angle and the passing trajectory. What I mean by that is we're going to show you how to run this pretty much against any defense and uh, be able to be uh, successful. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the running back on a wheel. Okay, so I've got a cover four drop booted up here. And we're just going to read this wheel. And what we're going to do is when he cuts up field, we're going to low ball it. And notice right there that we get this little back shoulder kind of catch animation. Now, that was against a cover four drop, which is a quarter flat defender. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shade that quarter flat defender down. And so now it's going to be a hard flat. Same thing. We're going to wait till he cuts up field. We're going to low ball that. And there I threw it just a little bit too early. So I'll show this again. So again, we're just going to low ball it. It is easier if you have a flat, uh, of course. But you're just going to click on. And what you see me doing is I'm just kind of clicking onto the running back and cutting it inside. And what's going to happen is for whatever reason, Madden 22, you get really good inside leverage on a wheel route. Now I want to audible over to cover three real quick. What you're going to notice here is, again, I'm going to low ball it. See how he can cut that off right in front of the zone defender. Now this is going to work not just for standard zones. It's also going to work for zone drop defenders. And as you just saw there, that was a vertical, or a, I'm sorry, a, a, a curl flat defender. 
Now I want to take a second here and I actually want to go to the cover two. And first I just want to run it against a standard cover two and then we'll show it again. I'm not running any other routes. It's literally just this low ball. See how I can click on and cut this off. I'm not even worrying about any other routes on the play. And I think that's really, really important um, because this is going to open up your entire offense if you can get a good grasp on this concept. Now I want to go to Tampa 2. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, if my if my defense won't glitch out here, uh, we're going to run the vertical hook. So you see here I've got a shaded down uh, vertical hook here. As you can see, shaded my coverage down. And what you're going to notice with a vertical hook is you're going to see, see how, he, he, see how he sh he's shifting in. And that time I got a terrible animation. Let me show you that one more time here. Had a little bit of a glitchy defensive possession. Let me see here. So let's go to... Um, Let's go to Tampa 2 and shade down. There we go. Okay. So this is a shaded down vert hook and a hard flat. And what you'll notice is you can kind of still click onto it and make the play. Now, again, I'm throwing that. You notice the best zone, honestly, um, is the hard flat. And we'll show you how to deal with those in just a second. Uh, but notice that the vertical hook really isn't doing anything to a hot routed wheel. It does great with seam wheels like those out of verticals but it really doesn't defend this in particular wheel because it gets so far outside here. And then I can actually wait and throw that and there you see the click on ability that these wheel routes possess. So that's uh, man, zone, and or, uh, we haven't talked about man yet. That's pretty much every zone in the game. I'm gonna do one last coverage and then we'll go to man. This is a uh, match coverage and what you'll notice is the same thing. See how we just kind of let him get his inside position. once. He has that inside position. We just low pass it, and we're going to click on either ag aggressive catch it or we're going to possession catch it. Now, this is cover one robber, a little bit of a different situation. The man coverage is actually going to be inside leverage uh, on this. And what you'll see here, same thing, just low ball it. Once he kind of cuts up field, you see the man coverage kind of glitch out and not be able to defend him. And then lastly, I'm actually going to run a uh, man defense with two vertical hooks, and we're going to shade our coverage down uh, just to kind of help it a little bit. What you're going to notice is same exact thing. The vert hook doesn't guard a hot routed running back wheel. The actual best thing for this is actually uh, cross man. So what we're going to do here is you're going to see I'm going to cross man uh, Johnson. Now from a quarterback's perspective, what you, if you see this adjustment, what you can do is you can either throw it really early or you can throw it later in the play. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Got kind of randomly shedded right there. But again, let me see if I can go to Mike Blitz 3. And we'll just kind of do some basic. So this is a cross man with a vert hook and a hard flat. And then again, I just want to show the, the wheel route primarily. So again, there's nothing else. It's literally just a wheel. And what you'll see here, there you see how he turned his, see how he turned his shoulders vertically. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in replay real quick. But I think this is so important. So you're actually going to see kind of a glitch here. Uh, but basically, the man coverage is going to pass off. See how he passes him off to the linebacker. Now, what you'll see here is he has inside leverage. If I throw the ball right here, it's going to be intercepted. So what do I do? I wait until, look, see how his back is turned? Now I'm throwing the ball, low point, And as you can see, it gets wide open. So learning how to master the wheel route is really, really important. It's going to significantly help you be able to basically beat any defense in the game. Now that we don't need a pull route for this, uh, what we can easily do now is we can set up all kinds of different route combinations that we might run a run. For example, uh, one of my favorite, favorite route combinations right now is the tight end drag. And then what we're going to actually do on this backside here is we're going to run with a flat to Scotty Miller, a, uh, a curl to um, Mike Evans, and then we can take Godwin and put him on a post. Or uh, if you don't have Hot Route Master, put him on a streak or do it from the play curl flat and you'll get him on drive post or whatever, right? So I like to put him on a post. But anyways, um, the point is there's so much they have to do to guard one route and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have any other kind of pull route so what you'll see here now the whole middle of the field is open and we can easily check down to Gronkowski out of this now you can do this a little bit better or not better but you can do this with this play right here uh, PA shot wheel what I like to do is actually take Mike Evans and we're gonna put him on a skinny post 
if you will. And then we're actually going to take this guy, Miller, and move him out of the way. And what you're going to notice here is this route is a little bit more difficult on the left side. But it is, a, I mean, it is kind of like the mesh spot wheel. But anyways, let me just show you here. So this is that. See how, see how I can low point it? You have to low pass inside. If you low pass inside, you will find a significant amount of success with this route. Now, I will say this route um, out of PA wheel, it does get in a little bit of a different place in, as far as placement. But you go something like this and see, see right there. See how I can low ball and still, still kind of cut it off. So anyways, guys, that's the wheel. If you can master this route, it really does make your entire offense go this year um you know an easy route combination is, is you could run something like this i mean this right here is a great great play um and what you'll notice here is this wheel just is such a great check down and can just beat so many to so many different defenses so anyways just trust the wheel you want to work on it add it to your offense but if you can master the running back wheel route and even if you can master some of the slot wheel routes or tight end wheel routes it really does open up your entire offense it makes it so that your offense is going to stay on schedule. You always have a great check down read. So I would encourage you to really dive deep into the wheel route, learn exactly what will stop it, which is basically nothing. I mean, there's very, very few things. If you play somebody that knows how to throw them, it's very, very hard to stop this concept. So now you basically know they have, this is why I think it's so cool. So now they, I mean, now you could run a concept like this. So you could go to PA slot corner and what you could do here is you could go ahead and run a, a skinny post to Evans. You could run like a smoke screen uh, or a, not a smoke screen, but a hitch or something like that. But then what's really cool is you've got a wheel and a curl now to your tight end. And what this does is there's so much action that they have to be concerned about by one route. They can't even start to defend that route. Okay. And so that's how you can kind of build off of this. But anyways, if you want to learn exactly how I run the trip side in, I think the trip side in is one of the most fun offenses in the game. Um, great spacing, great routes that you can create, great concepts. But if you want to get all my eBooks, join our Patreon. You get everything, all 15 offensive and defensive guides, any new guides that we release, any updates to those guides. You'll get content pretty much one to three times a week. I am having a knee surgery on my uh, ACL and MCO, but I will still continue to pump out content. So just be a little flexible with me on that. But again, uh, like I said, we're, we're consistently pumping out stuff over the Patreon. I think I'm going to release a new video today anyway. So anyways, if you want to get access to all that, there's a link in the description below. So you sign up just $10 a month. You don't have to sign up for every month. You can sign up for a month and then you said it's not for you. It's fine. Um, it's only $10 a month. So as long as you want it and as long as you want it, uh, we'll continue to pump out content for you. So patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. If you haven't already joined it, um, there's a link in the description if you want to go click on it. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you're still watching, head on down to the description and go check out the Patreon.